guys, I've got some breaking news that's going to cheer you up. I just found out my high school bully died. He was walking, probably drunk, and he walked into the street and he got hit by a car. And the car hit him and he flew off the car into an oncoming train. He's done now. There's no such thing as this bully anymore. His name was John Stimp and he wasn't good. He was a bad person. I look at this as a win-win for everyone. It's a win for me because John Stimp is dead. And it's a win for John Stimp because he's dead. I've been calling everyone I know and letting them know the good news of John Stimp's gone. I called up old classmates I haven't spoken to in a decade. I called up John Stimp's family members and they said, hey, we know. And I said, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> John Stimp used to shove me into the lockers. And now the devil is shoving and stuffing John Stimp into a, a locker in hell. I feel like the devil would agree with me that that is what he would do. I don't know how to contact Devil, but if Devil is there, I say, Hi Devil, can you shove John Stimp inside the locker? I've been telling people at the office about John Stimp's death. They say, "Are you? who's that? I say, it's a, it's a guy who used to bully me in high school. They say, oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that. I said, no, it's good news. Did you hear? And um, they stop talking to me and they kind of turn around, go back to their cubicle. And I go up, back up to them, I say, no, I'm serious, John Stimp is gone. John, if you're out there and you can hear me, I just want to say congratulations. In the end, I won. You know, you may have made me feel small in high school, but now I'll be able to talk about your death for the rest of my life. It's part of the bully, bully victim clause. You know, once the bully goes, the bully victim has to keep up the legend of the bully. I did get him back in high school, though, because I rigged his car to make it a car bomb, so when he'd start the engine, it would explode. Um, the only problem was... I rigged the wrong car, you know, and uh, I blew up a freshman, so, but, you know, the freshman shouldn't have been driving, he was only 15. That's kind of a life lesson if you think about it. Some people are actually trying to claim that the train murdered John Stimp and it wasn't just some sort of accident. I like to think that that is the case, that the conductor knew who John Stimp was and wanted to time up things perfectly in order to put the final death blow on him. I've got incredible news. I'm a chef and I'm serving up hot meals of John Stimp's death. Mmm, that's a good meal. I'd like seconds. So tell me again that he's dead. Okay, John Stimp is dead. Wow. Uh, let's make it a three-course meal. John Stimp is dead. Mmm, yes. Mm -hmm.